Did you see what he did to our lovely Alina Haba? Did you see this? Can you believe this? Alina Haba is pissed, ladies and gentlemen. She is pissed. I mean, this is this is third world stuff. You're not I don't I show you I don't welcome into CobraCast 199. I am your host, D-Day Cobra. It is awesome to be back here after a long weekend for me of uh basically playing Fortnite and recording videos. That's pretty much all I did. What ah! oh, little bitches. Damn, bro. Yeah, I want to run one more. But I have been following the news, and we do have a lot to talk about tonight. So we're going to get right into it. But it's lovely to see all of you here. And holy crap, Kelly R is dropping bombs in the chat before the show even gets started. Thank you very much for being there. Appreciate it. And we're going to let Trump's attorney, Alina Haba, you better get the best let everyone hear what is going on because she goes full like this, she is the baddest chick but i was told to sit down today i was yelled at and i've had a judge who is unhinged slamming a table let me be very clear i don't tolerate that in my life i'm not going to tolerate it here and you know what you shouldn't either because not every american citizen gets a camera and a microphone and what I'm seeing is such a demise of American judicial system and democracy. Miss James came out this morning and said that she knew Mr. Trump, and she always calls him Mr. Trump because it kills her that he was the president. But the 45th president of this country, one of the best presidents we've had, you taunted him. You said his administration was too male and too pale. He bumped Too male and too pale. Those are her words. Black girl magic. I've got an idea. She's got nothing but her Soros backing, which we discovered recently. And I am sick and tired of seeing it. Pay attention, America. Pay attention. Because when you're in court one of these days and you don't have a lawyer that has a microphone and you don't have a lawyer that can go on TV and you've got judges gagging them, what are you going to do? Because you know they're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I just happen to be standing in their way and I will never be moving. So let's be clear about why the judge said that. The judge doesn't like when President Trump explains what actually happened because it's not good for his narrative. I don't, I show you on order. It's absolute bullshit that they are trying. The, the whole reason this is happening is because it's politically motivated. So for the judge to sit there and say that Trump is not allowed to respond for the direct reasons that you're doing this is insane. It's absolutely insane. I'll let her continue because she's much better at it than I am. You don't know what that ought is. Miss James would not be the attorney general but for President Trump. Let's be very clear about that. And that might hurt her a little bit, but that's the facts. The facts hurt. So there you go. Uh, Alina Haba is a badass. Well, right. uh, <laughs> Sandra, that was whatever hourly rate she's charging, she should probably double it. <laughs> <laughs> because that was a forceful defense of the president. And yes, I absolutely hope that she is the White House press secretary, if she's interested in that role. Maybe she'll just continue to represent President Trump uh, once he becomes the 47th president of the United States of America. But she is a badass, and when she gets out there and talks about everything going on, man. Hey, she is oh awesome. God. But yes, uh, this entire situation, man, is... It's unbelievable how ridiculous all of this is. And President Trump himself actually uh, made a statement that I'm going to show you now. The dude is on it, man. To think that we're being sued and spending all this time and money and you have people being killed all over the world that this country should stop. With inflation and all of the other problems that this country has, I think it's a disgrace. Wow, gentlemen. Breaking Judge Ingeron releases uh, evidence uh, that Donald Trump uh, deleted 33,000 emails after subpoena. You're he wrong. Is. You're wrong. Smashed Blackberries and other devices to hide evidence. Wrong. Damn. These are damning things that that, are, that were released. Uh, had an illegal private server in his basement. Wrong. Okay, this is looking really bad for President Trump. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Trump actually might have done some bad stuff. Wrong. Just kidding. That was Hillary Clinton. What I call the basket of deplorables. But Hillary's not being investigated. Hillary's not facing indictments. No, no, no. This country is falling apart. The future 
does not belong to globalists. The future belongs to patriots. Kelly R dropped a proper 199. Woof. Of course, Kelly R is also putting me on the spot. Wants me to do my best Trump voice. I don't do the Trump impersonation. Liar! Judge uh, Arthur Ingeron. He's not so good of a judge. Not so good of a judge, in my opinion. Uh, did you see what he did to our lovely Alina Haba? Did you see this? Can you believe this? 50 gifted memberships. Wow. This show hasn't even gotten started. Doug B. Doug B over on Rumble. I don't know how he became a judge. I wouldn't have hired him. Not so good. Not as good as my poll numbers. My poll numbers are pretty great. No one's ever even seen anything like it. That's as best I could do right there. It was heartwarming to watch it. The love, the total love and the spirit. Let's talk about these uh, these New York Times poll numbers. A new poll shows Joe Biden getting trounced by Donald Trump in almost every single swing state. <laughs> well, on the surface, it, it seems like it's a good thing. And it is a good thing. OK, but I think that there's a little more to be concerned about. These poll numbers are crazy, dude. He's leading in five of six of the swing states, I believe. Very important states. And when you look at the numbers, the poll numbers that came out today from the New York Times and CBS, I'm sure the Times was not too happy. But people are sick and tired of what's happening. This is the sad. I think it's a very sad day for America. So uh, Nevada, Trump plus 11. Pennsylvania, Trump plus five. Okay, so let's set the table here. All right, let's set the table here. What do I actually think is happening right now? Well, I think that the reality is setting in that Joe Biden is not going to compete with Donald Trump. And I think that that's become very, very obvious. Trump is now polling so far ahead of Joe Biden that it's not even a question anymore. Joe Biden has no support whatsoever. None. There's no support for Joe Biden. All right. Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. This is from the New York Times, Nevada. 11, Pennsylvania plus five, Arizona plus five, Georgia plus five, Michigan is even, Wisconsin has Biden plus two. I'm not finished. This is a very, 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 very scary situation for the left and for the Democrats. And this is why they're doing everything they can to slow Donald Trump down. Today we witnessed the most evil and heinous abuse of power in the history of our country. And we're at a point now where we know I, I've been predicting this for months, but I do firmly believe that they are going to get rid of Joe Biden. He's going to do to, uh, you know, his age or he's going to have a medical issue or whatever. I believe he's going to step down. And I do believe that Gavin Newsom will become the nominee. That's what I believe. I hope I'm wrong, but that is what I've been saying for a long time now. I'll buy you off. <laughs> i hope i'm wrong i cannot state how many th i can't state this enough times i hope i'm wrong i do not want to be right about this i hope that in a few months i could sit here and celebrate that i am wrong about this please for the love of god i want to be wrong i do not want joe biden to step down i want him to remain in this race, I want him to run against Donald Trump so Trump can destroy him. Come on, man. 